This News for Tucson, live at 10. Good evening, thank you for joining us. A local woman tells us she is lucky to be alive after an early morning house fire. And tonight she's talking to News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink. It's a story you'll only see on 4. This pristine home in this Foothills neighborhood is why people move to this Southern Arizona oasis. I said, I just have to have this. I can't really afford it, but I'm gonna figure out how to make it work because you can't get that. I mean, this is rare to have this kind of view. But views are not immune to fire. Now, ash and soot are left in the hallway. And here is what's left of the master bath. And for one grateful renter, what's left for her? Memories. This is where I cooked all the Christmas dinners and prepared for all the parties and fed my family every night and every morning. After 11 years and with her kids grown, this summer Sandy Sipe says she got an urge to finally buy a place. She moved out Sunday night. When I was moving, I was trying to find the keys for this wrought iron door and I couldn't find them anywhere. So I would not have been able to escape from here. Surveying the damage, Sandy is reminded of the family time. I raised my kids here. I really loved this house. I just loved it. And even though I was a renter, I tried to treat it like it was my own. Rural Metro Fire says the cause of the fire is still under investigation. Crews say either this AC unit malfunctioned or it was struck by a bolt of lightning. There's a hole in the ceiling where the lightning came through and the fire right above where I was sleeping, where my head would have been. I'm so glad you're alive. I couldn't find them. Her former neighbors are just glad she's okay. And looking at where part of her roof used to be, Sandy says above all, She's thankful. I feel so grateful that I wasn't here when this happened because if I would have been, I don't know if I'd be alive right now. In the Catalina Foothills, I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.